Hello and welcome everybody, this is Aprilion, thank you for watching this video about NBA 2K14, my career big man. I hope you like my previous videos uh, and as always keep the requests coming and I will do my best to help you with your questions and uh, problems. Just like this time, because this video will actually be about rebounding. Now, just a bit of a background, if you watched my last video, then uh, you will know that uh, I've been traded to the Miami Heat. And this match in the background is actually my second uh, game with them, because in this match I had a really nice rebounding uh, performance. My best so far, actually. So I thought that it might be a good idea to actually do a kind of a guide. Now, first of all, first tip or thoughts is that it's actually quite impossible to do a <laughs> uh, kind of step-by-step -step guide about rebounding because uh, it's so situational and it's such a like continuous effort that you have to put into it that it's really not possible to say something like uh, if you stand here and press this button then you will get a rebound so uh, I'm sorry about that thank you very much and goodbye no really so that's the first thing is that uh, it's uh, a continuous effort and I encourage you to actually watch my movements <laughs> hope I don't sound too over confident but just watch my movements in this and other videos because I, I always get like a double double so I'm not perfect of course and I'm most probably not better than you but so don't get me wrong but uh, I do get a lot of rebounds so maybe some of my movements might help you so like I said it's a continuous rebounding is a continuous uh, effort so you always have to keep moving on the court trying to run around people and always box out of course because uh, if you do if you do box out then you will notice that there is a this year there is a kind of a mini game especially with really good rebounders because when you box out they will try to run around you especially if you play against someone like uh, Dwight Howard who's very strong and very good uh, rebounding skills you will see that quite quickly he will just push you to one side and get in front of you even when you are boxing him out so of course you have to kind of counteract it if, uh, if you can so that means that if he's pushing you to the left then you have to push to the right so that's something that you have to look out for so boxing out is here against really strong rebounding uh, opponents is uh, like I said kind of a mini game now the second thing hate it does help with rebounding but it do it's not uh, automatic because and I, I mean no disrespect just check out the latest videos from uh, two brothers gaming I highly recommend their videos because they are excellent and very entertaining and everything and just look at this oh my god well, <laughs> It would have been a nice dunk. Anyway, so uh, in his latest video, I think it's called Trolling Zebo or some, something like that, he does mention that he's a 7 foot 2, so a really tall guy, a center, but he. Oh, yes, and then nice dunk finally. Uh, on an assist from uh, LeBron. So he does say that he's 7 foot 2, but in the video, he doesn't get a single rebound. Of course, he's coming from bench, but still he should get a few rebounds. Now if you remember I did make 7 feet tall uh, power forwards for the stat cap uh, spreadsheet which by the way you can of course download still there is a link in the description but they felt overpowered so I made a 6 foot 10 guy this one uh, that you can see and that I've been uploading the videos from and still so he's tall enough to be a power forward slash center but he's not a giant but still I get uh, a lot of rebounds so actually you have to be tall 
<laughs> that, 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 it's as simple as that, so the taller you are, the easier it is to get the rebound, of course it's, it's like common sense. Uh, and also common sense is that it's also important what position you play, because if you do uh, nice one-on-one -on -one defense, as a small forward or as a any kind of guard, then it means that uh, you will be further away from the basket because these guys, these position uh, guys, will uh, shoot most probably or more often further away from the basket. So that means that obviously, as a small forward or a guard, you will not that you will not get as many rebounds as uh, as with a power forward or a center because that's not your job. Also, don't forget that uh, it's not all the time your job to actually get the rebound. It's uh, your job to get your team a rebound. So if you are boxing out, so there is you and uh, a teammate of yours under the basket, and there is one opponent, and you box out that opponent, you don't necessarily have to get the rebound yourself, because your teammate will get the rebound. You, of course, don't get the stat, but you get a, a successful box out if that teammate grading is uh, what you're looking for. But other than that, you, I mean, you don't need to get the, the rebound yourself. Next thing is that rebounding doesn't start. Just look at this motion, by the way, uh, that I had. You can just basically run around uh, defenders. So, and this is how you get rebounds. So always get open and don't forget that rebounding, uh, that I started to say, rebounding doesn't start when the uh, ball hits the rim. Again, movement, so try to anticipate uh, opponents and your teammates as well. So what are the tendencies, will they most likely shoot in this situation? And again, you could see that I started uh, moving towards the basket and get the rebound much earlier than actually the shot. Uh, because I had the opportunity to move in, so I moved in. The next thing is that... Two more things. One is that uh, don't be fooled by my videos or other uh, commentators' videos on uh, YouTube, because they will always upload uh, their best performances. And also, if uh, you only play uh, key games, then of course they are key games because they the opponents are tough. So if you seem through your whole season and only play key games, then of course you will not see yourself getting millions of rebounds, because if you only always play against Dwight Howard, then of course Dwight Howard will get the rebounds. So play again, like this match I'm playing against the Charlotte Bobcats. Now the next thing is that the game is trying to be realistic, meaning that uh, even if you do your like I said in earlier videos, uh, if you do your best and uh, you lock down uh, Dwight Howard for a half, so two quarters, and he doesn't get a single rebound, the game will try to make the match so that he gets around 10 rebounds. So in the second half, this means that no matter what you do, your opponents will get rebounds. And this is something that you cannot do uh, anything about. Uh, so it's kind of a pity because your, the, the computer or the game actually kind of punishes you for doing an excellent job, but really not much you can do about it, so you don't expect to get all the rebounds, because uh, your opponents will get rebounds. Also, don't be... I mean, be patient. In one of my earlier matches, uh, at halftime I had 2 points and 2 rebounds, and at the end I had 18 points and 16 rebounds, so don't give up keep trying. And also the last thing, uh, very last thing, which is uh, kind of strange actually, is that uh, attributes and signature skills about rebounding are not actually necessary all the time, because at this point I am of course 6 foot 10 power forward and I haven't put a single point into offensive or defensive rebounding, or I haven't bought a tenacious rebounder, and I am uh, in this match getting uh, 20 rebounds. But also don't forget that 
these attributes actually help you on tougher matches because I have to be honest, in one of the next matches I had, uh, I finished with four rebounds only because uh, the Indiana Pacers were a really tough uh, opponent. So 